Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, it's a milestone guys, holy cow, this is my 600th video that I have up on YouTube. You're watching number 600 right now and uh, just this past weekend I passed the 50,000 subscriber uh, base on YouTube. So 50,000 subscribers, 600th video, it's a milestone, holy cow, um, and I'm here to talk to you about YouTube and and give you my take after all these years and what maybe it can do for you if you're looking to jump in on YouTube. Um, before we get going, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, I will bring you content each and every week to this uh, channel. And um, we talk about V-dubs. We talk about restoring V-dubs, how-to tips, the market, uh, what to look out for, all things like that. Uh, so check them out, 600 videos in the past. And uh, guys, also please be safe in this world today with what's going on and uh, be smart, be civil to each other. And uh, hopefully this uh, pandemic, so to speak, is um, gonna blow itself over and we can look back and laugh at it and say, holy cow, what was that all about? I really hope, but uh, please be safe. I hope you guys are all doing well out there. Keep yourself occupied as well. I know some people are starting to get a little stir crazy after a few weeks, but uh, I'm still here at work. Uh, we're still operating and things are good. Everyone's happy and healthy. So uh, so here we go, guys. 600th video and 50,000 subscribers. And what has YouTube done for me? YouTube has brought me and has helped build my business, has helped build my so-called wait list that I have now to build bugs for people. The good thing about YouTube is that it, it's um, Google owns it. So it's the second largest uh, search engine in the world. So when you do a Google search, of course, YouTube videos pop up. So that helps me tremendously because uh, I've, I've ranked keywords, I've used keywords, and I've done everything organically. I haven't never ever paid for traffic or anything like that. It's all through my videos and using the right keywords, placement, you know, that sort of thing, tags, description on quote unquote VW restoration, Beetle restoration, that sort of thing. And when you do a Google search for that, my videos come up. Uh, so that has helped me tremendously. And yeah, after 13 years, we'd love, I'd love another zero on the end of that subscriber base, but you know what? Uh, it wasn't until the last couple years I really started to pay attention to that. I just kept throwing videos up there each week for 10 or 12 years. I uh, just didn't really pay attention to it. I didn't let it bother me. Um, it's just it's just one of those things. I don't have control of that massive beast what is YouTube. So wherever it wants to rank me is where it's going to rank me. Um, yeah, I'd love more subscribers. Yeah, I don't make a full-time living with YouTube guys people think I make money with YouTube I really don't um, it's YouTube is more of a marketing tool for my business and it brings in the work so that's what's really nice about YouTube um, you know if you're starting a business uh, you or you have a home-based business or something like that YouTube is I think is my platform I think it's a better platform than the other social uh, networks uh, just because you have to produce a video like what I'm doing right now. I have to talk to the camera. Um, I have to show you a how-to. There's more. That goes a lot further than just posting a post on Facebook when you're behind a computer screen and no one really knows who you are. And there's billions of people on those other platforms. Just like YouTube, there's billions of people. But it just goes a long way with presentation and actually getting in front of the camera and talking to you guys like this. Um, you know, when Google, uh, YouTube videos will rank always much better than a uh, Facebook post, Twitter post, Instagram post. You know, because I have videos that are 10 years old and people are still watching them because of a Google search. Uh, so Facebook or something like that, you post something up there, it's gone in a few days maybe. Um, maybe it lasts a week, depending on the communication that people are chiming in on uh, with the post. Uh, so, but ordinarily, it's like a slot machine on there. So once you post something, don't expect it to last very long and it goes, it goes away into the bowels of the internet uh, hell there, so to speak. <laughs> but uh, YouTube, it gets ranked and uh, it stays, it could stay in the list, which is really, really nice. So if you did want to jump in on YouTube, uh, it's a great platform to promote your business. And if you, if you have some presentation uh, ability or you can step in front, of, in front of a camera and talk without getting nervous or, or squirmy or something, you can use it to your advantage. And then I was a filmmaker before I did all this, so I have editing skills. I've been a video editor for over 20 years, um, and I've made movies and, and, and things like that. So I have the skill to, to shoot pretty good, and I can edit, and I can, 
cut to music titles effects and color correct and uh, the encoding process so there's a lot that goes into it and if you did want to start a YouTube career uh, in today's day unlike say 10 12 years ago or 13 years ago it's a lot harder I think if you want to jump in on YouTube these days I sat in on a course a couple weeks ago and the guy said in today's day if you want to be something on YouTube you got to upload every day for 90 days straight uh, so that's pretty uh, pretty incredible that's a lot of time that's a full-time job people don't realize what goes and gets what's involved in producing a quality video yeah you could throw up a phone video or something that you shot while you're you know on the road or something but to do something what I'm doing right now I'm lighting it I'm miking it I'm cutting it and there's a lot that that's involved and if you're not used to all that stuff it could take a lot of time so but uh, YouTube's been great it's been a great platform even even though I have say only 50,000 subscribers we've had a lot of great media attention here you know I had CBS here we had Fox News here USA Today um, you know I even had Mr. Seinfeld walk into this door because he saw my YouTube channel that's how powerful it is uh, so uh, I, I I'm very grateful I'm very thankful for my followers and you guys chiming in each and every week and and uh, watching me put together a beetle or seeing the projects going on and seeing the shows that I'm visiting across the country so uh, but it, it's a great platform if you want if you're thinking to go jump in on YouTube to make money and work from home yeah I would say in, the, in this day and age good luck it's gonna take a lot of work uh, unless you've got a really cool niche that you can jump in on yeah there's people that make millions of dollars on YouTube um, and sometimes I want to fall over when I hear what kind of money they make um, you know it, there's a woman uh, that makes about 12 million a year on YouTube just opening up uh, toys Disney toys on her kitchen table with her iPhone um, hey this is the new frozen wow she's got red hair this time limited edition act now better get it before time you know before they're all gone and that's uh, you only see her hands 12 million a year that's incredible um, and then there's video gamers out there that show you how to get through certain video games and they're making 10 20 million a year it's just it's just fascinating um, but then you have a lot of copycats that want to do the same thing and then it's gonna be a long hill to get up and I know this there could be frustration uh, sometimes I get frustrated too I see oh my god you know what's I see some channels where I can't believe the quality of the channel and they have half a million subscribers or a million subscribers but in the end you can't let that bother you uh, you know YouTube is such a such a massive machine I can't control that algorithm and it's gonna constantly change and evolve so it is what it is it's bringing me work um, it's a great marketing tool if you want to jump in on it um, I definitely recommend it uh, if you guys are looking to boost your video uh, your business so if you have any questions about YouTube you want to email me and get my take on certain things I'm here for you guys you know that and um, I just want you guys to be safe out there and thank you once again 50,000 subscribers number 600 video um, I'm such a nut I love YouTube to the point where I started another YouTube channel like a, I mean it's just taking up more of my time but I started Valone's RC Hobby, my second YouTube channel on RC cars. So I know I've spoken about this in the past, and uh, it's a really cool thing. I love doing it. It makes me feel like a kid again. It's going back to the 80s practically, you know, when I grew up with these things. So I'm feeling what a lot of the VW guys are feeling to go back to their youth from the 60s and 70s and feeling that nostalgic, uh, that feeling of uh, getting back in a bug and smelling that horse hair, man. <laughs> so um, anyways, guys, I'm rambling. Uh, I, this is just a, a video to say thank you to all of my subscribers and my followers. I'll keep putting videos out each, every, each and every week. And guys, if there's anything that you want me to uh, to show you where you think my channel should go is 50,000 subscribers a good way to pivot now and maybe change things up I think so I think it's time to maybe look into some different angles of things so I'm all ears I'd love to hear what you guys want to watch um, understand that it takes a lot of time to do these videos especially the how-to videos like those videos where I did the convertible top or the engine builds you know I got to do things on those cars and fix them and start and stop the camera and make sure everything's right you know and then I gotta go into the editing suite and cut that together and that could take a long time to do sometimes so please understand that um, 
if I don't do a video each and every week, uh, it's because I'm probably editing something that's taking longer than I anticipated. Because uh, uh, I have videos shot that I have not edited yet. So um, I'm a one man band. I'm the only guy that does the tech side of the business here. So, but um, guys, please be safe again. Chris from ClassicVWBugs.com. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this with your friends, and let's keep the vintage VW scene alive and well in the coming years, in the coming months coming. Hopefully, we get out of this whole pandemic and we can be happy again, honking that horn and giving thumbs up on the road. All right, guys, take care. Beep, beep.